Cybercrime is global. So the nature of cybercrime is that you cannot border yourself out of this. Maybe you managed to catch the guys who went to the bank and actually physically took the money out of the bank. But if somebody just coordinates them from the shadows, it's maybe very hard to get to them. He actually received instruction from the mastermind from the Kapalan group. We invented what was called the JCAT, so that was a joint uh, cybercrime action task force. Europoli sent an officer to go to the prison to see one of the the money mules here. And that guy, he has a, has strong connection with the head of the cybercrime group. La investigación se inicia a principios de 2017 cuando se recibe información a través de Europol Interpol de que en España se han usado la red de cajeros de los bancos para sacar el dinero de ataques que han sufrido bancos en Asia y Europa del Este. Esto fue posible dado que él como parte de, de la organización se dedicaba a la parte más técnica de los ciberataques, a cometerlos y a entrar en los bancos, modificar sus sistemas. Pero para poder al final monetizar esos ataques eh, necesitaban organizaciones de crimen organizado más tradicionales. Entonces él era uno de esos puntos de contacto con las organizaciones de crimen tradicional. Se pudo trazar de vuelta a él. I saw the email on Mihail's mobile phone. It's about how to deal with the money later. These criminals tend to travel. That's the weak point. Nobody wants to stay in Russia and, and spend your money in Siberia. When they travel outside Russia, then you catch them. Se decide eh, realizar la detención y un registro de su domicilio a fin de también obtener más evidencias eh, en sus equipos informáticos. El equipo estuviera encendido, lo cual permitió que el equipo forense pudiera obtener todas las evidencias. I heard it from a colleague of mine who read the news and about the arrest. And I was like, oh, good job, you know? Like one guy arrested, but probably there are like 29 others to be arrested. Was this one individual responsible for all of the, all of the crime? We think that it was quite a big team, at least between 10 and 30 people all together that was able to pull this scheme off. Well, you cannot just like in the mafia, take out uh, Don Corleone and then it will take them two or three years to get back on track. That's not going to happen. What we have seen with Karpenak is that I've seen it evolve. It's still very, very active. And you have had a number of arrests, but it doesn't really have an impact because the operation and the organization will continue. You know, Carbonac is certainly still in use. Right before coming here, we checked and it was used uh, two days ago was the latest sample. You can find the same piece of code being used by different groups. And it's very hard as a security researcher to make, to know the difference which group is using what code because the code is very similar. It's very hard to arrest a piece of code. What they were doing to get into the bank was that they exploited a known vulnerability within Word. So if the banks just updated to the latest Word version, the guys wouldn't be able to get in. And from the security community, we've been constantly trying to say, hey, people, manufacturers, vendors, people building and selling this stuff, you have to jump on this information and make use of it to make your products more secure because we know the bad guys are going to jump on the information to try to exploit it.
The attraction to target ATMs is fairly obvious. I mean, they're full of cash. But for myself, it's kind of part of a bigger picture and a bigger plan. And that's to uh, explore systems that, when compromised, have direct and immediate consequences. It's so super tragic. Something that we lost in their prime, way ahead of their time. After Barnaby had looked at the ATM hacking, he started getting into medical device hacking. We take for granted that you might have a pacemaker or an insulin pump implanted in you. These things are all now internet connected or some other wireless type of connectivity. And that's the sort of spy movie stuff of trying to assassinate a vice president through their, I don't know, pacemaker or whatever it is, right? Like you see that sort of stuff in movies and how real is that? Like it's probably possible. <laughs> The goal of doing vulnerability research is to try to change the general framework of how technology is being built. Because we're more reliant on this technology, it's become life or death. You will see a much, much bigger crime, much more crime towards a population that is completely unprepared. And we haven't been able to warn them or to build in security by design at the right level, or privacy by design for that matter. Absolute security we'll never get online, but we don't need that. We just need acceptable level. We don't have it now.